Hey, you're in Steve's Kitchen. It's Subscriber Sunday, and I can't tell you how many people have asked me to make an edible cookie dough. Now, for me, all cookie dough is edible, but I think what they mean is something without eggs in that you can eat raw. Well, I'm gonna make some fantastic cookie dough here, and at the end of it, we're gonna turn that cookie dough, and actually, I'll put a photograph up here so you can see, into these wonderful chocolate gift ideas as well. So let's get on and make cookie dough. Now, just a quickie, you know you're in Steve's kitchen because while we're making this cookie dough, look at that, that's just come out of the oven. That smells great, stay tuned. There's something special inside this bread and it's coming up very shortly. Now, here is the beauty of this recipe. We've got 125 grams of soft brown sugar, that's about four and a half ounces, exactly the same weight of butter and again of flour and 125 grams, four ounces of chocolate chips as well. So basically you can increase this to a pound if you want a pound of each and have exactly the same recipe. I'm just gonna pop my sugar and my softened butter into a bowl. Now that butter wants to be at room temperature and nice and soft. And we're just gonna cream these together against the side of the bowl. And after just a minute or so, you're gonna have this wonderful fudgy consistency. So into there now, we're gonna pop our flour. And it's just all purpose flour. And again, I'm just going to mix this up until I get a stiff cookie dough. Actually, before I go much further, I'm just going to add anywhere between a pinch to quarter of a teaspoon of salt. You can adjust the salt for yourself. And about a tablespoon of vanilla extract, two to three teaspoons will be fine. And I'm just gonna rough that out. Then we continue to mix this through. And what you're gonna end up with is this wet sand-like consistency. Now we can add our chocolate chips in there. And I'm going to start using my hands now. I'm just going to mix this cookie dough together. And there you have it. Within a few seconds, we have this wonderful edible cookie dough. Now you can chill that down in the fridge. What I'm gonna do, I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper or baking paper. I've just got a square piece there. I'm gonna pop my cookie dough on there and square it up. And when I've got a rough square like that, I'm gonna pop another piece of paper over the top and I'm going to roll this out until it's about, about half an inch thick. And what I've got there is a perfect square slab of cookie dough. I'm just gonna pop a tray underneath it. We're just gonna pop that cookie dough in the freezer for five minutes until it's gone nice and firm. Now look, that cookie dough has come off the parchment ever so easily. I'm just gonna lay it down here now. And what we're going to do is we're going to just square up the edges. And of course, you can eat these little off cuts if you like. And then we're gonna take each strip of this and cut these again into nice little squares like that. So all those cookie dough squares are going back in the freezer. Another five minutes, we're gonna let those firm up. Now, whilst they completely chill down, I put a small amount of water in the bottom of a saucepan, a glass bowl, just pop that on top. And we've got about a cup of melting chocolate. I'm just gonna pour that in there. We're gonna pop this on the stove, heat it up, and that chocolate will just melt down. So now I've got that wonderful melted chocolate there. I've got my little squares of cookie dough out of the freezer. And what I want to do is dip these into my chocolate and using a fork, I'm just going to turn them over, get them completely coated like that. And we want to let as much of the excess chocolate drip off of there as possible. And then I'm going to pop that down on some greaseproof paper. Use another fork just to ease it on there. And then I'm just gonna to continue to coat these until I've got them all finished. Now, if you wanna be extra fancy, you can just sprinkle some broken almonds on top of there, some sesame seeds, or even some little M&Ms on top, anything that takes your fancy. Now, once you've coated them in chocolate, it's up to you. Look at some of the ideas I've had here. There's a plain one that's coated in chocolate. I've got some M&Ms. I've even got some popping candy on these ones. Now, I'm gonna give this one a try. That's what they look like cut through the middle. Now I hope you'll give this a try because it's a lot of fun and it's a little bit different than making just regular cookie dough. I'll try this one for you now, here goes. Well, what can I say? It's cookie dough covered in chocolate, as you'd expect. And that's why I've just buzzed them up a little bit with these extra flavors, just for fun. You can do anything you want. There's coconut on there as well. Plain, of course. Be good. Please give this one a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Well, as it was a subscriber Sunday, I thought I'd do something a little bit different with that cookie dough, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll leave some links here to some other videos, and I love to hear your comments. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Be good.